So let's start with what motivated you to actually write this book. So what went off in your head that said, I've got to share this message? Oh, gosh, well, I, I had to learn the message for myself because I was deeply engaged in the Second Civil War. I was uh, very, very uh, partisan, uh, very, very angry and frothy uh, on a regular basis about politics. Uh, my father-in-law uh, would regularly send out emails touting and proselytizing his political p position and his political candidate choice. Um, and I, after a while, got fed up and I replied to one of his e emails in one of the nastiest, snarkiest, passive aggressive ways possible and as i was pushing the send button uh, of this really horrible email uh, i thought i was justified and i felt really righteous uh, and good about that choice about 24 hours later i was kind of thinking should i send that email should i send it and i went back into my sent email i read the email and it's like this is not me why did I send this email? This is not who I am or how I behave. This is not kind. It, it's not even fair. Uh, so uh, I had to reach out to him. Uh, he was furious, so furious that he didn't respond to the email. Uh, he really didn't want to take my phone call, but he was gracious enough to have dinner with me where I had to, where I, sorry, I didn't have to. I did. I felt compelled to do a full uh, mea culpa and apologize and own it. Uh, I didn't. I, in any way, put any of the blame on him. Like oftentimes people behave badly and go, well, if your position wasn't so bad, I wouldn't have behaved so bad. No, I just really owned it. And because I really reflected um, on that incident, I had to investigate why I did that. Why did I behave that way? Why did I believe what I believe? And that was the genesis for my research. So as I write the book and people, if they ever read it and feel that I'm, I really do my best not to, to be preachy or saying, you know, the, you, you stop doing this behavior. The only reason I know it so well is because I was doing it myself. So uh, the book in many regards was written for me to help me understand why I was behaving so badly. And who's the intended audience for the book? Who, who, it, who are you writing this for? Who's your avatar? It really is. Uh, every friend and family member, especially those on social media, who I would open up the uh, you know the posts, the feed of social media, and I would see all this vitriol and all this hatred, and I would hear stories about people being shoved against walls uh, and being threatened for their lives. I would see friends who had been friends for years uh, disavow one another. So it was for all of my friends and my family who were going through this really bloody, bloody, metaphorically bloody conflict with one another. That's who I wrote it for. So the book, you know, frequently you might think it's a political book and it, it really is. And I think it's the first political self-help book or leadership book. So it, even though it looks like a political book, it actually is written for everyday Americans in a very common sense, practical way. If you are more committed to national unity than partisanship, please check out my book, The Second Civil War, A Citizen's Guide to Healing Our Fractured Nation. My book will challenge you to improve your relationships with friends and family. Click the link in the description below.